And hey, welcome back. I'm Dave Cooney. It's a it's a rarity of sorts, but a lot of you Wildcat fans out there may have been cheering for Sun Devil, and it's a great story. Phil Mickelson pulled off what his caddy of 21 years called his best round of golf ever. That dude's been golfing a long time, so that's significant. Final round of the British Open today. All right, college football. The bigger the game, the bigger the publicity. And a Fiesta Bowl bid means a lot of Arizona Wildcats on a lot of national media headlines. But there's also this little, little tiny part of college football bowl games. Money, a lot of it. And hey, look out, the Cardinals are first place in the NFC West. It's week two, I know, it's just, it's fun to say right now. Bruce Arians has now authored nine wins in his last 11 tries. This is KOLD News 13 Now Sports. Check it out, there it is. That is your scene from downtown San Antonio. All right, I had Miami in six. I've been wrong before. That's because San Antonio has dethroned the super team with simply the better team. And welcome back everybody, I'm Dave Cooney as our coverage from Levi Stadium continues from right here in Santa Clara, California. We've been here for about 48 hours now, bringing you some of the storylines from out here in California, but for the last week, basically all year though, the one storyline that remains the same is that the stars had to line. This is KOLD News 13 Sports. Hey, welcome back, I'm Dave Cooney. The Michigan-Arizona basketball game may have lost a little luster with Michigan losing to a couple unranked and relatively unknown teams at home. So what was being billed as a huge non-conference affair lost a little steam this week. Let's look at some of the numbers. This is an erratic Michigan team. They lost to Villanova by five, a good Villanova team. Then they beat Syracuse, and then they laid an egg last week. The big key in this matchup, it's size. Michigan, they start three guards, biggest of their big guys, 6'9". Yeah. I mean, we might have <sighs> one of your keys right there. We're going to have a 3 p.m. tip off tomorrow at McHale, Michigan, desperate to get some heat off their back. This one could get interesting. I still like Arizona by 10 in this one. All right, the Cardinals are the number one seed in the NFC. They are 11 and 3, and Bruce Arians and the smoke and mirrors routine just got a little tougher. Cardinals defense has carried this team with no running back, no Carson Palmer. Drew Stanton appeared to be a decent game manager, but that's what you're looking at, it doesn't help. Now he's out with a sprained knee. I even heard whispers the Cardinals could bring in former Oregon quarterback Dennis Dixon to join the mix. All right, Stanton, it's still a mystery. And hey folks, no, Kurt Warner is not coming out of retirement. Drew is not the start, if not Cardinals, all but clinched the playoff spot unless Dallas or Philly tie in that game. So they got the playoff, not. More NFL news, former Wildcat Rob Gronkowski Posed with kittens on the cover of ESPN Magazine, Bill Belichick opened a Thursday morning meeting by poking fun at his all-world tight end that aimed to expose another side of Gronk right here. When we saw you over here with kittens, what is the softer side of Gronk? The softer side of myself? I mean, I like to snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, Dan? You know, Gronk owns it, though. He can be weird, he can be whatever. That interview on ESPN Magazine hit the shelves today. 